Father, I thank you for today. Thank you for the life of my family and my friends. I thank you for my driving skills. I bless you for the life of those without driving skills. I pray you keep them away from me. Amen. Let's do this. Allow me to take you to the village for a minute. So that that's a whack. Original Mr. Flavor Party Dancer. Oh yeah, yeah, man. If no be God, I for no be God. So today I'm on my way to the Handle It Africa conference. It's going to be one of the first conference of its kind that I've ever attended. It's supposed to be for social media enthusiasts, for them to network and at the same time listen to panelists that have ideas on how to grow their businesses or hobbies on social media. So in my case, I'm going there for both. I couldn't really find time this week to shoot you a video, but I decided to do something that I haven't done before, going about my day and then making sure I have content for you guys by the weekend. It's a beautiful day today, so I'm like, why not? Let's get straight into it. There are three major incidents that happened that you know stand out in my week. Number one is the codeine tramadol situation. The federal government is actually planning to make a ban or they ban the use of codeine or importation of pharmaceuticals that actually have codeine in them. In my opinion, the fact that they are talking about banning codeine means they're actually listening, which is a step in the right direction. But does this solve the problem? I don't really think so. People do unthinkable things just to get the next time. One time you know that this guy's problem is codeine and tramadol. Now leave you on the worry this one. There has to be a reason why young people feel the need to take this thing for this millennial self. Anyways, I think more time and more effort should be devoted to this particular cause. Ultimately, you would want to be at a point where these people don't have to take any stimulating drug at all. Next is assurance. I just said okay, I come out now. The video like always just brought up something over those boss guys in head. People didn't really like the fact that he was gadging baby mamas. But after buying Porsche now, he's now world class boyfriend. Now every girl wants to reevaluate their relationship. Can you offer me a Porsche? Where is this thing heading itself? What are you not doing in my life? Forgetting that it takes a world class girlfriend to make a world class boyfriend. If you want mind blowing gifts, be a mind blowing partner. Now to the big fish of the week, Kanye West says slavery is a choice. Next thing after training, he'll sell us new Kanye music. Why not focus your energy on bringing back the old Kanye for us? This Kanye is not sweeting us again. First of all, to those arguing and analyzing what he meant and what he did not mean, what did he say? When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? It's one thing to have an opinion about something, it's another thing to know how to express it. For someone of Kanye's status, it's irresponsible of him to actually say that, even if that's not what he meant. And why is everyone pretending like the Kanye we knew is not somebody that meant it? He doesn't like to read, he likes to think. Well, read, Kanye, you need to read because what you're saying is ignorant. Which means whatever thought process he engages in, he's very likely going to think, I'm a genius. If he decided to sit down with historians on both sides to at least get the facts out the way, it would definitely help his thinking process and refines the things he says on the subject and how he says it. So it was a good day, Handle It Africa was a success. Got to listen to Adebola Williams, Cielenu, Kenny Black. No, I didn't get to see through the panel that I really wanted to. Thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Now it's time to brave this traffic. Let's do this.